Welcome to day four. Yesterday we got the backing plates epoxied into place. Today we're going to have to clean up the excess epoxy that squeezed out. I've got a couple of tools to do that with. Hopefully that won't take too long. And then we're going to mount the flanges and hopefully that won't be a problem. Remember yesterday I put the machine screws through the backing plates in order to align them and I put WD-40 all over them to prevent the epoxy from sticking hard and fast, but that's an experiment. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. We'll find out soon enough, I guess. Anyway, come on. In order to get that hardened epoxy out of the way and cleaned up, I've decided that my first tool of choice is gonna be my Dremel tool with a cutting disc on it. Voila, that's what it looks like. It's kind of like a mini version of an angle grinder with a cutting disc on it, but super high speed, so it should make short work of this. Well, that worked remarkably well up until the point that the disc separated from the center. So the disc isn't worn out, it just uh, was too much stress, I guess, on the, the very light material and uh, broke. Fortunately, I have other discs. I'll just have to be a little bit more careful. I've only got one more piece to do. The dermal cutting tool works satisfactorily for getting the excess epoxy off, which is nice. It only took five minutes or so. The next phase in cleaning that up is to use a stone. I'm using the same tool, my Dremel tool, but I'm gonna use a little grinding stone on it to clean up the inside of the, the holes and the uh, flat part where the flanges is gonna sit. Those need to be uh, clean and flat so that they're not moving around. I'm gonna put some 4200 underneath them to seal them, which will provide a bit of a cushion, but they've gotta be as flat as possible. So let's get busy. I did a test fit of all the through hulls uh, in the recessed sockets that I made with the backing plates on board, and it's looking just fine. So I've done all seven of them and uh, now I'm ready to undo the screws that I put in to hold the backing plates in place and mount the flanges. So I've got some caulking material to put on the back side of the flanges and uh, hopefully the screws don't give me any grief. Let's go have a crack at it, shall we? So once again, I'm going to start in the head because it has the easiest access and it'll give me an idea of what I'm in for trying to take these uh, nuts off. Got my handy dandy wrench. And let's have at it. The nuts came off better than I expected to, to them to. It would seem that the machine screws are epoxied into place. And so I was able to put a wrench on the nuts and just turn them right off. Surprisingly, the problem that I had was getting the washers off. I guess there was just enough surface area and epoxy under them to make them stick. But I used a cold steel chisel and a couple of taps and they've all come off. So now I've got to go in there and uh, clean off any of the excess epoxy that's leaked over on the inside. And then I'm pretty much ready to mount my flanges. So 
Hopefully I'll get that done this afternoon. It's about uh, one o'clock, I guess, right now on Thursday afternoon. And uh, my goal today is to get the flanges in. So here's hoping. The time has come to start mountain hardware. I've been looking forward to this for a while. The uh, backing plates are in place, the epoxy is cured. I've prepped the surface, removed any excess epoxy, and I've uh, wiped down the surface with uh, some acetone to remove any grease. Remember, I put some WD-40 on there. So, And then I will do a one last test fit of the flanges. And then when I'm satisfied that they're good, I'm going to break open my sealant, which is 3M4200. And I'll load that up with sealant and put them on and bolt them in place, hopefully for the last time. of day four i am tired it's been a long day working hard sweating lots getting stuff done the flanges are all bolted in place and sealed and most of the through hulls are turned back in and sealed with the exception of two that'll be part of tomorrow's project when uh, i went to turn those two through hulls in they weren't quite lined up they're maybe a sixteenth of an inch out for all intents and purposes when i put the Backing plates in. I, I turned in the through hulls to make sure that everything was lined up, but I guess it must have shifted or something. I don't know. So I'm going to go in with a grinder tomorrow and open up the holes a little bit and uh, get those through hulls to fit. So that's a job for another day. That'll be day five. But right now I'm going to go home and relax, get something to eat, get rested up for another day of intense boat refitting. As always, Fair winds, following seas, and God bless.